Hello, my name is Michelle L. Curry. I am the owner and founder of Yoga Masia. Yoga Masia is a yoga studio we are focused on providing education to families um, from pregnancy all the way through their teen years when the kids turn into young adults. We are based here in Richboro, but we work with different organizations within the community, both on the Pennsylvania and the New Jersey side. That includes schools, businesses, child care centers, camps, and other um, opportunities to help these students and their families and their friends to learn how yoga can empower their lives. So our classes are not just focused on the physical. That's a very big um, important perspective that we like to um, explain. We incorporate a lot of social emotional learning into the techniques that we would teach with our students. And so that incorporates um, and includes breathing exercises, mindfulness practices, uh, in addition to all of the physical, and then also incorporating yoga philosophy and how we can use that um, as a way of life. So with that, um, we were approached by one of the schools um, because they were interested in uh, using some of, of our exercises and how we incorporate that social emotional learning into a family program and that's how it started. Part of this was a whole building initiative on mindfulness and we start out with our mindful minute every morning and so when I was looking for a way to enrich that and take that a little bit further I reached out to Yoga Masia to see if they would come in to um, educate us more about some different strategies that we can do um, and to teach the kids all about why do we do mindfulness and how is that going to impact them not only in school but in their lives at home. Mindfulness is like it helps you like relax and like when you're in a stressful situation. It's important to be mindful because like if your mind's full, like full of distractions and stuff, it's not like really like helping you. But like if it's like mindful, you're like living in the moment. So I reached out to Yoga Nasia to be a part of our PBIS celebration. We do one per quarter. And so this was um, for the end of our second marking period, um, our second marking period celebration. So um, we were focusing on mindfulness and um, we just thought that they would be a perfect partner for that. Mindfulness is like when you're very calm. It um, keeps you calm and it also keeps you like in, in like shape and stuff. So like when you get like frustrated and stuff, you can calm yourself down. One of the important uh, aspects that we try to make sure that the students understand is that they are their own person. And that's related to our values. One of our values is authenticity. And that's how can we be true to ourselves. And when we're true to ourselves, then we can be true to others. And so we teach um, various mantras and techniques that remind us about this. You know, I am myself, I am my own person and then being in the present moment to remember that. They were able to give us tools that the kids could take away. Um, each student was gifted a Mission Me journal that um, they brought home with them. And they, you know, this is their own private book that they can sit with at home when they're working through something stressful or tough. And they, they can sit and journal and do different activities in here to help them cope with our daily problems that they may face in the world. I was very encouraged, you know, my teachers and I who've sort of gone around and met a, a lot of the staff and the students and th the students are all very open. This is something that I think they need and something that I think they want. Um, it's really nice to see that more schools and more school districts, not just here in Pennsylvania but across the country, are um, using that opportunity and finding people like Yoga Mesia who can help them to um, run these programs but also to give them that encouragement and that confidence that they can get there. Thank you, Yoga Malaysia. Hi, I'm Michael Ginder. I'm the Executive Director of Friends of the Delaware Canal. The mission of the Friends is to help promote, restore, and improve the Delaware Canal along its 58.9 mile length. So the canal runs from Easton to Bristol, 
It is a state park. It is roughly about 60 feet wide, but it's 60 miles long. So the Friends help um, with any of the projects that need to be done along the canal. We help restore um, any of the historical structures. We have a canal tender program where the canal is broken up into smaller sections. It's actually broken up into 32 sections, and the um, we have volunteers that will take that will oversee a section. And what they're responsible for is kind of walking the section and maintaining any trash pickup, reporting back any issues with downed trees. We also have a canal action team that will do any other projects, like if a bridge needs to be painted or if there's um, repair work that needs to be done on a structure, we can get our team together and can help the um, park maintenance people like that. Two of the um, teachers at the school reached out to me about doing a, um, a program with the students at William Penn Middle School and um, mentioned the program and I, that would be great that we'd be involved with that. I think the whole thing came about because this year Julie came into the school year really wanting to help develop some type of like external learning or learning beyond the classroom for the kids. Yeah, what we do in the room is very much, you know, the projects that the students work on are very much um, problem solution uh, based relationships and then also linking them to the real world. So the seventh graders were working that marking period on developing their own PSAs, public service announcements on the topic of choice. But then we thought if we could find a partner that we could connect with outside of the classroom and work with on a local basis, mm -hmm. um, that they can then bring that problem type solution relationship to to life for them. Um, so we ended up going to the canal, we took a bus with our classes and we brought iPads and we yeah. took pictures and we observed the surroundings. Yeah. And then we went back a second time, we also did a cleanup. That experience also inspired my family to do a little thing where we go out every Sunday morning and we bring a trash bag, a wagon, and a trash grabber and we go down the canal looking for trash to pick up. Getting them out of their bubble, you know, taking them out into a space where they interact with new people, new surroundings, um, are required to use their intelligence to um, learn about that situation, educate themselves, and then take that information and determine the best solution and how they can be of service and how they can be of use to actually implementing the solution itself. Exactly, and I think that's what it was. I think it was that sense of authenticity of real learning and then learning just, you know, like I said, beyond the classroom, but also a, a sense of empowerment too. Yes. And so being able to connect all of those pieces together, I think, is what really made it um, a more meaningful experience. Canal's beautiful. Keep it clean.